classes develop, we are going to have a lot of novel items for your dogs to be playing around with. Most of them are going to, intent, are going to be intended for them to put their feet on. So we're going to do a lot of loop training. But for dogs that are a little reluctant, yes, we want to make sure our marker words are very, very clear and concise for these behaviors because if we don't capture the moment when they're investigating the item, we may miss it. And then we may reward the wrong behavior on accident. So for targeting an object, yes. I may toss a cookie away once in a while to bring the dog away. Yes. Make sure my word is important and it's fast. Get it. Yes. Get it. Yes. We may eventually build duration on the item. Yes. For now, I'd like you all just to practice the front feet on novel items. If you go for a walk at the park, try on a log, try it on a bench, try it on footstools at home. <laughs> Get it. All done. You try a new item at home, make sure the item's picked up when you are done the behavior. Yes. Get it. Cookie. Yes. Notice how I'm not really cueing at this point because she has not seen this before. We've never tried it. I'm not going to really label behaviors until they're offering them more than half the time because that's what I'm doing. I'm labeling them. They don't know what the word means yet, so I'm always very um, conservative with my cues. I may talk to myself a lot, and that will become the cue, but in the meantime, I'm saying the word a lot, but I'm not assuming that they know what it means. Yes. When you're brainstorming your cues, they should be short, sweet, concise, and make sense. A lot of folks get pretty creative with foreign languages and cute words, but with multiple dogs and multiple behaviors, just do what comes to mind first. Yes. Yeah. All done. So over the next few weeks, they're going to be touching inflatable items. They're going to be touching platforms. They're going to be touching moving items like skateboards and wobble boards. They are going to be targeting horizontal surfaces. They may look more like this. They're also going to be moving from surface to surface. So once they're getting the hang of it, we'll practice our hand gestures and see if they understand the difference between going to that item and that item. Good girl, all done. Thank you and we'll see you all next Tuesday, next Thursday. <laughs>